Oh, morning, Will. I've got a little repair job to do here, and I've got to get done a bit sharpish, because if my dad comes along, he'll appoint himself foreman and very likely close the old street for a week. Then he'll set up office in a Freemason's arms and wait for a subsidy from the common market. Do you know what the trouble these days with us householders? We can't afford to get craftsmen to do these little jobs, can we? At one time, the plumber used to come round with his mate and a bag of tools. Now he turns up with an accountant and a bag for the money. <laughs> Honest, it's a known fact that half the geezers you see in the West End dressed up in sunglasses and bedsheets, throwing money around, they ain't Arabs. No, the carpenters on the run from the tax man. <laughs> Simple test, listen, listen. Next time you're standing next to an Arab in Marks and Sparks, catch him off guard, say, here, lend us your toolkit for a couple of hours, mate. He'll say, not bloody likely. <laughs> Tell you what, any more results like this, I'm going to stop having parties. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, what has a bastard dog got to do with having a party? <laughs> well, hang about and all will be revealed. <laughs> oh. Oh, God, me tongue's asleep, me teeth itch. <laughs> get spiders in me bath, now I get ravers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For what I am about to receive. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Oh, God, what's that? There's more booze and snap there, mate. Garlic. I can't remember eating that last night. I can't think of it. I can't remember last night. Oh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Probably one of them Rodine jolly hockey sticks set in a Bentley. Ones that stopped to pick up them lads repairing the flyover. Blimey, sounds like they're still here, demolishing me front room. Explain everything. You see, my life is a shambles. So is this flaming room, mate. Well, I can assure you I'm not responsible for that. Well, it weren't doing my lamp a lot of good, were you? I'm dreadfully sorry. I may be down on my luck, but I am not a vandal. Why are you wearing them turtles? Turtles? No, no, turtle doves, your gloves. <laughs> ah, yes, well, funny you should mention it. <laughs> they belong to my son, actually. He's, uh, he's a hell's angel. Oh, I must still be a bit Brahms. I beg your pardon? Brahms and List, drunk. <laughs> look, you can please yourself. You wear what you like, but don't you think they look a bit silly with that whistle? Whistle? Yeah, whistle them. The suit. You're not foreign by any chance, are you? Look, mate, I'm <laughs> English, born and bred, and proud of it. Ah, oh, well, I blame the education system. The comprehensives. Now, that's when the real decline started. Are you feeling all right? I'm sorry? Well, you don't sound all that. Just because I've been reduced to this, it doesn't mean I've lost my faculties. Well, you're losing me, mate. Reduced to what? This! What, riding a motorbike? <laughs> I do not ride a motorbike. My deranged son does that. God knows what the neighbours must think. Do you know what? He has tattoos. Well, lots of people have tattoos. On their lips. <laughs> and as for my daughter, all she ever thinks of is enjoying herself. Going to discos, going to pubs, gallivanting around with the boys. She used to like horses. Well, that don't sound too healthy. <laughs> God, when I think of the money I've spent on their education, what do they do? They humiliate me. I mean, for God's sake, I have a garden with gnomes in it. People expect a certain standard from me, demand it. The, the, the pressure is enormous. Do you mind if I sit down? I think you'd better, mate, before you fall down. <laughs> God, you must have sunk a few last night. I most certainly did not. Uh, what was you doing then? 
I spent a sleepless night in unmitigating torture. Well, whatever turns you on, mate. <laughs> what was the one? Was it a redhead? Yeah, or the one with the great big... with the thing? <laughs> the one who gave you the treatment? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Not the one with the nine-foot legs, right up to that nice Tom Thumb of hers. <laughs> hey, did you see that? Like, two large ball bearings encased in them skin-tight leather strides. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now, yeah. Well, some of it. Look, I don't wish to be rude, but do you mind telling me what you're talking about? And you reckon you weren't legless last night? I've got a funny feeling I'm beginning to have a nervous breakdown. Yeah, I know how you feel, mate. I always feel the same myself the morning after. What he wants here is a dog. Sort ourself out. Oh, no, Vera. Oh, it's gone, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, mate, you let her do with Rosie, that all right? Oh, thank you, yes. Th that'll be fine. Beggars can't be choosers, right, eh? Yeah. Chilled, is it? What? The wine. What wine? The rosé. What is it? Portuguese? <laughs> <laughs> Indian. Best blend, mate. Yeah, and then one cup and you'll have to scarf, you see, cos there's a possible bit of blonde carnal delight left over from last night's party, which I want to attend to in private, you know what I mean? Blimpers in gauntlets I don't need. Quiet. Oh, there you, you go. This is most incredibly civilised of you. Well, don't go over the top, mate. It's only a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, God, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's, it's unforgivable of me. <laughs> First time I've done it since they made me redundant. Oh, well, you've had the big E, have you? Nineteen years of devoted service and not so much as a handshake, let alone a golden one. Look, I'm terribly sorry. I really shouldn't burden you with all this, but uh, I will if you'll let me. Uh, yeah, I'd love to oblige, mate, but uh, you know we ain't got time. To... Me clock's gone too. Wait, if you'll just give me a chance to explain. And me silver platter. That was an heirloom, that was. Yes, well, I didn't think of therapy, but the thought of having it on the National Health... Oh, me video. Where's me video? Oh, all right, if you don't want to understand. I think I've been robbed. <laughs> oh, I see. That's your little game, is it? Ha, I might have known. Oh, no, it wouldn't have been tossed a tea leaf. He'd never turn me over. That's right. Carry on. Humiliate me. Do what? It's sick. Are you some kind of German tank or what? I mean, what are you really on about? I could have just as easily chosen Dulwich or East Cheam, where decent people reside. People who would at least react with a proper sense of indignation. Hmm. Morning, Jimbo. All right. What's all that about, then? What's what, Tosh? Door lock's all busted. Oh, Gordon Bennett, it's, it's true. What is? I've been robbed, Tosh. Yeah, well, it's one every two minutes in the smoke, mate, innit? If this is only a first, looks like you've got a result. A result? Aren't me gears gone, Nick? Did he reckon I've had a result? What you ran in on about? You ain't got anything worth nicking anyway. Ah, I'd have to concur with that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Well, don't you know? Here, listen, if you're the old Bill, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I wouldn't turn Jimbo over. He's one of me own. Yes, I can see that. He ain't Claude. Nah, nah. Nah, he was here when I rose from the dead this morning. He must have been at the park. You weren't with... Come to don't think of... Don't be a pudding, Jimbo. It's him, isn't it? He's Burglar Bill. Oh, I made you a cup of tea and all. <laughs> he knows perfectly well it's me. He's simply subjecting me to the degradation of being the plaything of an idle moment. <laughs> He's lovely, isn't he, eh? Get those turtles. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Where's my valuables? Valuables? If you are referring to those few pitiful items that out of sheer desperation I decided charitably to relieve you of, they are over there. Where? There. Mm. Here, listen, mate. If you're looking for a good bar, I know just a man won't strike you. Stand on me. Give you a proper deal. Sick. Sick. Oh, my God! Sarah! Goodness me! Daddy! My father a burglar? Are you mad? Do I look like a nutter? Well, there is a certain manic quality about you. Manic? Manic? Me manic? I've just got the amp, and I'm not manic, I've just got the amp. <laughs> I've got the right amp and all. I mean, how would you like to wake up first thing in the morning, find yourself being invaded? I think I nearly did. Well, just tucking you in, wouldn't I? <laughs> Sarah, I demand an explanation. 
He demands an explanation. Terrific. My rights and concerns as a father supersede any small misunderstandings there may be as to my presence here. Misunderstanding? Misunderstanding? You, you, you crowbar your way inside my house, nick all my valuable belongings, and you call that a misunderstanding? Daddy, is this true? Have you no perception? Are you totally lacking in sensitivity? Haven't I tried to explain to you? Daddy, why are you wearing Nigel's motorcycle gloves? Oh, that's so he won't leave any dabs about, darling. Dabs? Fingerprints. Golden rule number one when you're at it. At least he had that much now. Good God. Daddy, you are a burglar. How super. <laughs> so much better than being a stuffy accountant. But why are you burglaring this crummy slum? Oh, it's steady on. <laughs> well, small beginnings, my dear. A little Art Nouveau, a few trinkets from the hovels of the poor. Only one lock, no burger alarm, what we call a push under, huh? <laughs> no, 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 that's over. <laughs> Push over. Oh, is that what we call it? Yeah. Push over. Thank you. I'll remember that. Although I haven't exactly decided upon it as a profession yet. I'm not sure whether your mother would approve. I don't believe this is happening in my oval. <laughs> What's a novel, anyway? Hey, don't worry about Mummy. She won't mind as long as it doesn't interfere with her gardening. I can't wait to tell my friends. Oh, I should be a bit careful about that if I was you, darling. Oh, yeah, why? Well, it's not a game you want to advertise, is it? Oh, you mean it's unethical, like lawyers, doctors, that sort of thing? No, I mean, if you're going to go into business proper like, you've got to keep it a bit shtum, haven't you? I mean, you ain't got to let anybody know you're at it, because they start talking, don't they? And before you know where you are, they're whispering in the ear of old Bill, and they get that. What's that? <laughs> you get your collar felt by blood. Blood? The police. But why on earth? Would they want to feel your collar? <laughs> he means getting arrested, darling. You're doing nothing, all of a sudden, while I'm... Oh, come on, you... <laughs> <laughs> they get you. You're slammed away. You're stuck in the shovel, banged up with plenty of porridge for your whack for half a stretch. That's what happens if you go around robbing people. Oh, I see. It's Underworld Argo. Argo? Argo? <laughs> Language for the criminal cognoscente. You're losing me, darling. Dare one who? Slang, you know. Now, that's the way we talk, isn't it? Precisely. It's a way of recognising your own kind. What own kind? Your fellow criminals. Leave old, I ain't a villain. That's not what you told me last night. You said you went out on Blegs. What? <laughs> Blegs? Blegs? No, no, not Blegs, darling. No. No, that's, um, Bleg, darling. As in, uh, Slag. Slag? <laughs> no, no. Blag. Blag. I think she's got it. I've only bleeding got it. When did it all start to go wrong? God help us. He only helps those who help themselves, Jimbo. Yeah, well, you've got plenty of chance there, didn't you, mate? Listen, I only had the old bit of gear off the back of lorries, mate. I don't go around hurting people on blags. Well, nor do I. That's what you've been telling her. Well, because that's what you told me to tell her, wasn't it? You said she'd be impressed. Oh, she is impressed, ain't she? Oh, I don't believe this conversation. I think they both belong in rubber rooms, my dear. Oh, don't be so short-sighted, Daddy. You've always instilled in me the value of education. Jim and Tosh can teach you the tricks of the trade. Help you avoid getting your Turnbull and Asser collar touched and landing up in the spade. <laughs> Shovel, darling. Shovel and pick, as in Nick. No, you see, that sort of thing can be invaluable in your new career. Well, it's hardly the sort of language I could use at the golf club. Well, you wouldn't have to, would you? Think about it. You could lead a fascinating double life. The Raffles of SE10. <laughs> a gentleman thief. Hmm. And amongst your peers in the underworld, you could be known as the Torf. Yes, it does have a certain appeal. I don't believe it. And I could be a gangster's mob. Oh, I told you it turned them on, didn't I? <laughs> Look, this is stupid, this is. What about my valuable belongings? What about them? What are you going on about? You still got them, ain't you? Well, it's not the point, Tosh, is it? I mean, I wake up here, I've been looted, rampaged, pillaged. I feel like half a dozen bloody Vikings have been through here. <laughs> Something's got to be done about this. Like what, Jimbo? But I'm going to phone old Bill, that's what. How can you set the plot on my dad? After all we almost meant to each other. Here, Judas. 
Take your pieces of silver! Eds. <laughs> Trust you, yeah. He turns me over, she bends me heirlooms, and you take the... I hope old Bill gonna find this <laughs> when they get here. Here, Jimbo, a word in your shell light. Make yourself comfortable, darling. Won't be a minute. What's the matter with you? Don't you listen or something? What? What? You get the plot involved in this, you put me right in it. Well, it's not down to you, is it? The video, remember, Jimbo, the video? Look, I bought that off you in good faith, didn't I? With my Aunt Min's insurance money. Jimbo, that was a 500 quid machine, which I knocked out to you for two and a half, and you're standing there telling me you didn't know it was hooky. Well, I, I had a faint idea it was slightly dodgy. <laughs> But I thought I'd give you the benefit of the doubt. You're lovely, you are. Anyway, you told me it was part of a job lot. It was part of a job lot. Some of the lads did a job in a warehouse and nicked the lot. There you go, <laughs> job <laughs> lot. Oh, Daddy, you're not scared, are you? Uh, frankly, my dear, I'm scared of everything lately. Well, you certainly hide it well. That's because I'm too scared to show it. <laughs> uh, listen, everybody, uh, Jim and me have had a little word and he's decided to forgive and forget, ain't you, Jimbo? Yeah, I'm just a warm and wonderful human being. A bottomless pit of compassion and understanding. <laughs> in short, a mug. However, <laughs> there is one condition. Everything you cop in future, you let me have first refusal. I can't do it. I cannot pursue a life of crime. I have just come to an agonising decision. I shall give myself up and hurl myself dramatically on the mercy of the court. You can't do that. Not now you're one of our own. It's not one of our own. He's got gnomes in his garden. <laughs> gnomes? Don't be ridiculous, Daddy. It'd be too humiliating to have you convicted on your very first plague. No, no, I must. For a while there, I lost my equilibrium. But now, I have found it again. Where was it? Behind the clock? <laughs> See, my dear, you surely can't expect me to become part of a fraternity whose membership appears to consist entirely of people with an intellectual capacity a little lower than that of a cup. You watch it, mate, otherwise I'll change my mind. <laughs> Who would want to exchange your mind for anything? Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, God. Been some trouble, has there, sir? Uh, what? A neighbour rang the station and informed us that she had saw someone acting suspicious. Yes, officer. Uh, oh, right. And I am prepared to tell you everything. Thank you, sir. Uh, just a minute. Your house, is it, sir? Certainly not. <laughs> no, it's mine, actually. Yeah, and us three was just visiting. Yeah. Cool, blimey, is that the time? Gotta be going, Jimbo. <laughs> uh, lovely party, my place next time. Okay, don't forget your bag, Squire. Just a moment, sir. I would like some sort of explanation before you leave. Explanation? Someone fitting this gentleman's description was seen breaking into this house. That's perfectly true, officer. I did break in, and I am prepared to make a full signed confession. Oh, Daddy. Uh, what he means is, is that there's been a, a, a misunderstanding, officer. Uh, ain't it? Right, Jimbo. Um, yeah, officer. Yeah, there's been a sort of, sort of quite, quite a big one, actually, of, of an understa a misunderstanding, of which Tosh will now tell you what it is. Yeah, yeah, what he means is, mm. is that, um, he... For he mm. was trying to do Rudy's with her. <laughs> His daughter. I leave it out. Isn't that right, love? What? Oh, yes. Mm, yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it, <laughs> him being a protective father, naturally, he's busted in to stop him doing a business with her, didn't he? Hang on. I ain't, I ain't laid a finger on her, honest. Go along with this and you'll never know your luck. <laughs> Is this true, sir? Ah, yes. Well, I suppose you could say that it was true. Of course it's true. My father may be redundant, but he doesn't tell pork chops. <laughs> pies, love. Pies. Pork pies. As in, uh, lies. <laughs> I see. So you'll be wanting to make a formal complaint against this man then, isn't it, miss? A formal complaint against me? What for? <laughs> Sexual harassment? Attempted rape? Who knows where perverts like you are concerned? <laughs> Don't say anything, Jimbo. Not without a lawyer. What? You must have put up a hell of a fight, miss. Uh, I'm a demon. 
when I'm roused. One hell of a fight. Yeah, during which time she filled up 20 ashtrays and drank 14 <laughs> bottles of booze. Write that down. When cautioned, yeah. the accused replied, yeah. I am glad you caught me. I am an animal. <laughs> I never said that. Said what, sir? I'm glad you caught me. I'm an animal. There you are. He said it again. You heard him, sir. Oh, my God. What happened to me? Victim. Oh, my God. What happened to me? Uh, your shoulder strap has slipped, miss. And adjusted her dress. <laughs> nice one. Um, hang on a second. There seems to have been some mistake. He didn't do anything. He's innocent. Yeah, that's right. That's... If I've gone grey, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> Watch it, animal. You are not out of the wood yet. My dear young lady, we are building up a very nice case here. It would be a shame to throw it away for a mere detail like him being innocent. <laughs> no, officer. It's all been a stupid misunderstanding. <laughs> Word of a gentleman. Oh, what? You heard. Pity. All right. It's a fair cop. I'm Lord Lucan. <laughs> well, come along, Daddy. We've got your new career to discuss, haven't we? Uh, don't forget your bag, Squire. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I seem to still have your... Yeah, just say no more, John. Little Prezzy for the wife. Yeah, little token of Irish Steve. You know what I mean? Good on your way, we've still got a chance, you burk. Ah, <laughs> well, I, I, that's most incredibly decent of you. Thank you, old chap. Old Sarah? Don't forget I'm on a promise. Sorry, darling. So I tell pork sausages? <laughs> well, Inspector, there's six million people out there waiting to be fitted up, so let's not detain you. Oh, you're not detaining me, sir. Actually, there was a reason why I was proceeding in this direction in the first place. Oh, yeah? It concerns a report by another public-spirited citizen that someone was seen entering these premises on Wednesday last, carrying a video recorder believed to have been stole. Oh. Oh, well, that'll be him. My squ the squatter upstairs. It, oh, Superintendent, let me tell you, he's got one of them jungle hi-fi systems up there. You know the ones I mean? On the old show. Oh, as my fixtures and fittings doing a limbo. And he does love a video nasty. <laughs> a video nasty? Worse still, he ain't got a licence either. Oh. Oh, I do love my work. <laughs> yeah, thank God for that, Jimbo. You got us right out of bother there, mate. Well, I don't know about right out of it. I mean, me bird's gone. Me booze is gone, me video's gone. And Raffles' watch is gone. What? How much do you think we get on this, Jimbo? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, sir. No, sir, no, please. <laughs> Thank you.